The home screen is great at basic operations, but if that's all you've ever used this calculator for, you've wasted quite a bit of money. You can get a calculator for only a couple of dollars that can do what the home screen can do. In order to take advantage of more advanced features in the calculator in terms of statistics, we have to learn next about lists. Lists are basically sets for the calculator if you happen to have studied sets before. In order to enter a set of data or a list of data, you go under the stat key and the very first item that shows up has the word edit with three little dots after it. And if you press enter, it will take you into what's called the list editor. The list editor works very much like a program like Excel. And you can enter data, delete data, um, change data from this list editor. So for instance, I'm going to put in some random values into a list. And to do that, all you do is just type the number and press enter. So next I'll do 85 and then 32, 12 and 14. Oops, I meant to put 14 in, but I typed 42. I can fix that. If you just highlight the one that you entered incorrectly, you can just start typing a new number in and it will replace that value once you press enter. So they're pretty easy to work with. Uh, if there's a data item that you put in that you don't want anymore, like let's say I don't want the 12 any longer, I can just highlight the 12 and press delete and it will remove that item from the list. One thing you want to be careful of is getting rid of the entire list. You can get rid of all the data in a list at one time and what's interesting is you can actually scroll all the way to the top and highlight the name of the list. One thing you don't want to do is at this point press the delete key because what happens is it just removes that list from the list editor. Notice I no longer have L1. So to get it back, don't worry, you can do a couple of things. You can hit second and insert and then the name of the list is L1, which if you notice right here, it says L1. So if you hit second and one, it'll say L1. It will bring it right back. Or if you don't care for that, quit out of the list editor, hit stat again, and go down here to setup editor. Setup editor will bring your list editor back to factory defaults. So no matter what you do to it, you can always get it back to the way that it was. So I'm going back into the list editor and now L1's back where it was. To correctly clear the items out of a list, you highlight the name, you hit clear and then press enter. And that will remove all the items in the list. Now, if you have some data in a list and I'm going to just put some more random values in there, you can do some uh, work with the entire list. So for instance, you can do algebraic operations like if I wanted to add three to everything in the list. Then on the home screen I would type three plus and do second and one because that's how I reference the list L1. And what it will do is it will take everything that was in L1 and add three to it. So you can do some nice operations with it. Another thing you can do under the stat menu, or actually let me go under the list menu. If I hit second and stat, over here to ops, there's some different operations you can do. You can sort the list. Uh, this tells you how many items are in the list. You can fill a list with a certain set of values. Um, you can take a cumulative sum of items in a list, uh, different things like this. But sorting is you know, sometimes something we'll use. Uh, I'll sort ascending and then type in second and one so that I'm sorting the data in list one. It doesn't show me the list, but if I go into the list editor, I now see that the data is sorted. So lots of different things you can do with lists. Um, we'll show you some more in the next video.